So on behalf of the ISTC team of 1960, I would like to register our appreciation for inclusion in the Hall of Fame. This is indeed an honor for us. It brings back the excitement that we had during that 1960 season, which extended more than just to our team. This campus was involved in that team. Ron Rubrek, one of our managers, was assigned by Stan to do some promotion of excitement. We had snake dances through classrooms, through the library, through the, how long was that? About uh, 250 yards or something like maybe that. Uh, so the campus was involved. Cedar Falls Waterloo community were equally engaged. The best example was the North Dakota away game. There was no email or texting back then, but there was Western Union. 1960, October 21st, Stan Sheriff, coach, Iowa State Teachers College football. All Cedar Falls solidly, <coughs> solidly behind you and the team in today's game, Chamber of Commerce of Cedar Falls. The goal was to work for a coordinated team takeoff. The key component was the quality of our overall team who showed up every day. We didn't have any slackers. Our 1960 team was coached by a group of graduate students led by a true gentleman, head coach Dan Sheriff, all of which had not reached their 30th birthday. However, and equally as important and exciting was that our present coach, Mark Farley, referred to us in this letter as family. Mind you, he did not say football team. He addressed us as family. And man, this looks great. A close-knit family is the best expression I can use to tell you of each you and I family member contributions to our success. We are we're a group of regular guys, all for one and one for all. Following the football season, I visit several communities and churches with some of my classmates. This developed a further love for you and I and the state of Iowa, beyond things that I can explain or understand. Thank you.